Parker, one of the great defensive ends for Nebraska. And Adam Parker with a big play again. Welcome, Husker Nation, to the Character Chronicles. I want to talk about will there ever be another team as good as 95 Nebraska? In my unbiased opinion, I don't think so. A lot of it has to do with the 85 scholarship limits. Prop 48 has a major effect. And the fact is, they have to play more games now. Alabama would have had to go 15-0. and 0. They got to play these college playoff games. And don't get me wrong, I'm going to get into it. 95 Nebraska played a lot of really good teams. I just don't think it's going to happen for those various reasons. Now, I do want to get into, has there ever been a team as good as the 95 Huskers and I found a legit competitor. I ran across this video of this poll that was done a few years ago and Herb Street was flipping out. They did the greatest football, college football teams of all time. It was 95 Nebraska and in the finals, 71 Nebraska. Now he was flipping out. Oh, this is so ridiculous. Cornhouse on for the bit. So doesn't matter what I think. 54%, it's case closed. So as great as Nebraska was in 95, I just question how much competition Nebraska saw in 95. Oh, and if I see one more red in in the next vote, I'm boycotting this segment. You know what? The only thing I'm trying to figure out here is how we couldn't get the 97 Nebraska team on here, too. Because there's only two teams. Yeah, I bet we got three of them in here. We got them all the way. We hey, Kirk, I had five in there. Hey. Yeah, I mean, I, 97 Nebraska, you guys out there, you let us down. We should have at least had them on the board. Yeah, yeah. This is ridiculous. 04 USC losing to the 71 Nebraska. 05 Texas. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Losing wait a minute. to 71. I, 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 I can't understand why that would happen. Would have the same but break. every one of these teams? Are you kidding me? 01 Miami, 05 Texas, 04 USC. Hey. You're not going to throw one of them a bow? Hey, 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 but <laughs> Just I, one of them. I, I, I agree. It's ridiculous. It does, but did Nebraska throw the ball? I say, I don't know. Did 1971, did Nebraska throw the ball? They didn't have to throw the football. They ran the option. So if they I put, six, the ball if if I put six first rounders, walked them up to the line of scrimmage, in 1971 with hey, hey. Miami 01. It, it hey, uh, Kirk, 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 I, Kirk. I, 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 just like we told Tony, get over it. Hey, get over it. <laughs> the Browns offense. You lost. Uh, were the period. biggest. Is that right or wrong? You're right. And if you went out there and looked at their program, their weight training. We're in a quandary now. We're in a quandary. Who are they going to vote? Who's going to vote? And then doesn't that which Nebraska team is the greatest Nebraska team of all Nebraska teams? That's what this show is, right? Nebraska show. I'm going to go with the 1995 team because they have a better logo. Yeah, Nebraska has great fans. But let me break down these stats for you, and I'll explain why. And then you can let me know if you think 95 Nebraska was better or 71 Nebraska was better. Here's 95 Nebraska's ridiculous stats. They had 27 players that played in the NFL. You have 11 starters on offense, 11 on defense, that's 22. That means they had five backups that played in the NFL. The closest game they had all year was a 14-point victory. They only trailed once all season. That was very early on in the season. They averaged 400 yards rushing a game, and they gave up an average of only 78 yards rushing a game. They had 51 rushing touchdowns and gave up only six rushing touchdowns on the entire season. They also gave up a zero quarterback sacks all year. They tied an NCAA record by only giving up five punt returns for a total on the entire season of 12 yards. Their average margin of victory was over 38 points. And keep in mind, they rested their starters in the fourth quarter quite a bit in 1995 because they had such big leads. They had the largest margin of victory for the entire season 1995 of any team since World War II. <laughs> Here's an interesting stat that I came across. They averaged more points in the first half 29 and a half points, basically 30 points in the first half. That's more than at least three teams who won national championships. 92 Alabama, 2002 Ohio State, and 2006 Florida. They averaged more points in the first half than those three teams did through four full quarters. Now, Nebraska threw four full quarters in 95, averaged 53.2 points per game, and gave up an average of 14.5 points per game. They beat four teams ranked in the final polls top 10. Number nine, Kansas, beat them 41-3. Number seven, Kansas State, beat them 44 21. Number five, Colorado beat them 44 21. Number two, Florida beat them 62 to 24. That's spanking in the Fiesta Bowl. People want to talk about Nick Saban and this Alabama dynasty. Well, let's talk about the 93 through 97 Huskers. Underrated dynasty. They had a combined record of 60 and 3 over those years. It's different eras. It, we're comparing different eras. It's apples to oranges. But Nick Saban's best five year run is 08 to 012, and it was 61 and 7. I've often wondered what would have been like had I played in the mid 90s. 
80s with the Peter brothers and Grant Wistrom and those great players. I think that would have been pretty cool. I had a great time while I was at Nebraska, not slamming that time whatsoever. Just, you know, hypothetical what, what that would have been like. I think it would have been pretty awesome. Poise in late game situations. Now, Tommy Frazier was never voted a team captain, but you want to talk about a guy. In the fourth quarter, the team followed him. He had the poise. He had that killer instinct. He was not afraid of the spotlight. He ran to it. It's something LeBron James now has, but he had to learn almost over time to get it. Tommy Frazier had it from the very beginning. And that's one of the things that made him so, he was a phenomenal athlete. But that's one of the things that put him over the top, in my opinion, as the greatest option quarterback of all time. I want to hear a response from you. Will there ever be another college football team as good as the 95 Huskers? 95 Huskers or the 71 Huskers? It's different eras, but let's have a little fun. Who do you think was better? Can Nebraska get back to that championship form? And what do they have to do to do it? Let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments below. Go Big Red, and always remember to feather the band.